So I was sitting in my, our living room, um, just waiting to ask my parents a question. And that was the moment that I realized that financially our family was poor, but we were rich in so many other capacities, rich in love, family love, rich in personal values, but most importantly, rich in our religious beliefs. So I was in high school, well, middle school, I would say, and I wanted to join the, the choir and, you know, living on a farm, we lived about 25 miles from school. And so my parents didn't have the funds for me to join the choir, much less drive to get to go to practice or go to a football game. And so I wanted to find a different way to share my voice. And so my older brother and some of his friends decided that uh, we were gonna create a group. And so we created a church group. And at that moment, I realized that, you know, Finances are important, they pay the bills, but there's so much more in values. There's so much more in the gifts and talents that we all have that we can bring to and share with others. And so we started a small group and we started singing to different churches and our own churches and just sharing the, you know, our knowledge and our spirituality with others. And so that was one of those moments where I realized that, you know, maybe I didn't get to joined the, the school choir. But here I had an opportunity to really share my voice with the entire community, with the world who wanted to listen. And to me, that was so much more important than just joining the high school choir. Here I had an opportunity to really, you know, enjoy what I was doing and really make the best of it. And as my mom always said, if you don't use your gifts and talents, the Lord will take it away from you. And so that's my story regarding, you know, wanting to do something when I realized I had something so much more important.